Hello everybody! In this video I'll show you how to create a quick disk in your computer's random access memory and use it to speed up your Windows or certain applications, for example a browser. The speed of the hard disk seriously affects the general performance of your computer. That is why for modern computers having an SSD is better than a conventional HDD. However, the RAM is several times faster than the SSD. There is a way to allocate a part of the computer system memory to create a separate disk within the operating system. This is what I'm going to tell you about. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialist will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. So, if you have an old computer without an SSD and you want to speed up your Internet browser or another application, you can do it by allocating a part of the computer's system memory into a separate disk. You can do it with a special program – AMD Radeon RAM Disk. To begin with, download RAM Disk from the developer's website by following the link, which I give in the description. Install and run the program. In the settings window, specify the size of the disk you want to create. Don't forget that it will be created from the system memory available in your device. It's not recommended to use more than 50% of the memory you have. My computer has got 8 GB of system memory. As we can see, it's possible to create a disk no bigger than 4 GB. I allocate 1 GB. For my purposes, that is enough. You can change the disk name and letter, but I will leave them as they are. Now go to Load Save tab. Here specify the disk where the image of the disk being created will be stored. Choose the one you like. In Load options, choose if you want to create a separate disk in Explorer or only load its image. For demonstration, let's create a new disk. And change the settings to save the disk image after disconnecting. If you want, you can set up extra options in the Options tab. For example, if you're going to save the image of the disk you are creating to another disk and not your system disk, then check this option. You can also enable or disable loading the disk at system startup and so on. After you've finished with options, click on Start RAM Disk. The process of creating the disk will start and you have to wait until it is over. As you can see, a new disk appeared in this PC folder. In my case, in disk C there are two files of the newly created virtual disk, with the name and size that I chose. Before you start using it, it's better to restart the computer. As you can see, I have just created a new disk using some of my computer's system memory. Before doing anything with the disk, let's check its speed. I'll be using a utility called CrystalMark. It is free. Find the download link in the description. To do it, I will open Crystal Disk Mark and start the test for the SSD installed in my computer and Disk Z, the one I have created in the system memory. I will not go into details, but you can see that the disk Z created in the system memory can read and write data several times faster. How can you use such a disk? You can place portable versions of programs there, or a small virtual machine or any other application which you want to work as fast as possible, or a browser cache. You can use it to edit audio or video files. Everything depends on how much system memory is available and what tasks you have to deal with. For example, let me show you how to set up Google Chrome to save its cache to RAM disk to make the browser work faster. To begin with, right-click on the Google Chrome icon, Google Chrome – Properties – Shortcut. Now add the following command into the target field. I will leave the command in the description where Z is the letter of your RAM disk. Apply. OK. 
Now, after using Google Chrome for some time, a folder containing the browser cache will appear in RAM disk Z. The browser cache will be saved there and loaded from there. As a result, the browser will work faster. I have taken this method from the AMD Radeon RAM Disk official website. Besides the tutorial for Chrome, it's got similar guides for Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox. I will give the link in the description. In our channel, you can find a whole series of videos about setting up, optimizing and discovering useful functions in Internet browsers. You will find all the links in the description. To disable your RAM disk, start AMD Radeon RAM disk again and click Stop RAM disk. That's all. There is no disk Z in this PC folder. If you want to delete it completely, then delete the image files, which are located in disk C, in my case. By the way, you can restore disk image files or virtual disk files with Hetman Partition Recovery and you will find the link in the description for this video. Advantages of using the system memory in this manner are obvious. The disadvantage is that while you are using RAM disk, the computer loses some system memory. That's all for now. If you learned something new from this video, hit the like button below, subscribe to Hetman Software channel and don't miss other useful videos. Thank you for watching, good luck 